So it's good to have an understanding of your current state of technology enablement, or better yet, where the technology isn't supporting what the enterprise is trying to do. Having a good inventory and understanding of your application portfolio and the technology and what it does is key and why we like overlaying the technology portfolio onto a business capability model to show where duplications are, gaps, and all importantly, opportunities, or perhaps where parts of the business's capabilities are powered by spreadsheets. It's also important for some of the metadata that you capture when you're doing an application inventory because some of the more insightful data and questions that can be answered if you're trapping the type of application, whether it's a cloud, on-premise deployed, a platform as a service, it's good having that metadata there because then you can color the overlays or group them and give a feel for where the business is enabled by spreadsheets, for example, or where it is cloud heavy on its application stack and perhaps even on-premise heavy if it's still got a lot of on-premise applications and technology. It can also be really helpful understanding the information classification that the system holds. So that stretches into your compliance sort of personnel and security personnel in understanding what the security requirements or classifications are around the applications. It's also really useful to know what vendor provides the solution as well as any implementer that supports or perhaps partner that supports the enterprise with that application. It can also be a really good thing to trap sourcing. Perhaps it's a technology application that you use that's provided by another company. That can also be all useful information that when you overlay it gives a bigger picture to the organization's current state. Some of the things that it illuminates as well, particularly when you overlay it on the capability model, is where there is mass duplication that causes significant issues to organizations. Classic case in point is identity and access. If you've got a lot of different technology applications that have their own identity and access management, that means for your people, they have to sign in multiple times. Another good one is documents and records. Your people should always be able to find the information that they need to do their roles, that they're allowed to access and view, of course, as well. Documents and records, it often calls out huge amounts of duplication. The last thing that it's really useful for is showing how a current or an aged ERP system or a finance system or a supply chain system is inadequate for the enterprise's needs in that it's not enabling as many capabilities as they think. And then you can see where spreadsheets and other solutions are sort of patching together functionality that the ERP is missing.